protect me, Father, from the hills and the lakes and the fire we are burned down below. Protect me, Father, from temptation, the devil strong and I can't do it on my own. Protect me, Father, from the robbers and the killers, life takers, them they know for to rule. Protect us, Father, from temptation, the devil strong and I can't do it on my own. Whoa, again. The road to Zion never rosy. So much things to do. Here, you're watching DY TV, and we holding up vibes with Junior Kelly here in Oyster Pond, Sunshine City. Junior Kelly, welcome. How Give you feeling? Thanks. thanks for having me. I'm feeling great. DY TV. Bye. <laughs> All right. So you here? What going on with the music? What you have cooking in the kitchen? Oh, there's a whole lot of recipes and spices. Right now, I'm not really focusing on doing an album because I have four brand new singles coming out, you know, and uh, um, what we're going to do is do back to back, you know, we're going to go along with videos, you know, because visuality is the key right now, you know, in, in your face with visuality. So, um, the, the first one is no more, like, actually, I'm going to do it on Friday night. Three brand new songs nobody had heard them here before, what? and so I'm gonna introduce them to the crowd. And I'm in order five of a nice, so I'm going to. I, I love to do that actually. Wherever wherever I go, and I have new um, works working. New materials. It doesn't you have, test them yes, on the crowd. Test them on the crowd, and they don't have to be out for me to test them. Because nice. when they're out, that's actually promotion. Right. But, but, but when they're not out and nobody have heard them before, you're testing them. With you know, and I think that is nice because I mean, apart from my catalog, I know, wonderful it is, uh, and, uh, and it span a 20 year period. Apart from that, I, I still do a lot of new um, products, a lot of new material uh, because I'm a creator by art, you know, and I love to create. That's my favorite place is in the studio. So, creative, the creative juice is still here. And I love to test the crowd. So songs. you have your own studio. Yeah, I have a home studio. And, and yeah. the musicians that you are currently working with. Can you tell us more about that? Um, well, I'm, I'm currently working with um, with, uh, with a few um, musicians um, with my band because the, those guys are fresh from out of uh, music Edna? school. Yes, yeah, so from out of Edna. You know what I mean? And so these guys are like Patrick. Steve, Martin, you know, those guys are the new guitarists, the new keyboards, the new drummer, like fresh, energy. new energy, you know, and they promote new people that is coming into the industry, not just writers of music, not just performers, but players, and they're not getting as much highlight as they should, you know, are the amount of respect as they should. And I like to say this and, and, and life that musicians are very important. Yes. And musicians do not get the props they deserve. And I like to take this opportunity to say musicians all over the world, reggae genre and every other genre, maximum respect. The music would be nothing without you. Without you, the, the lyrics would be just poetry. Yeah, yeah. But together, it's an orchestration and it's, it's, a, it's an extension of poetry. So maximum respect to my fellow keyboardists, my drummers, my lead guitarists, my bass players, my harmonizers. Maximum respect to our engineers who have helped to make the music what it is today. Definitely. I agree 100% with you on that one. And with DYTV, we always... Um, you know, try our best to shine a light on all the the musicians, players of instruments, of course, they singers, are very engineers, important. each player, role, intricate part. Each role has a very important. important each, yes. yes, it's, it's like, like putting together, as I said at the beginning, what's cooking. It's like putting together a recipe. The, yeah, the each part, the ingredients. A keyboard is, is a main ingredient. <laughs> You understand that drama is a main drama ingredient is, yeah. Yeah. and keep the tempo and the timing, you know what I mean? So each and every aspect of the music is very important and it's a part, all a part of the ingredient that makes a wonderful recipe. <laughs> you know? So maximum respect to all of my musician brothers and sisters, you know, keep the work, love and a very important.
for real, for real. So you work with different producers still, or? No, right now, I, I, at this point, I am, um, I, I'm not working with any local um, promoters, um, producers. producers. Why? It's not because they do, they do not request um, working. It's just, but it's just that I am doing a lot of um, work with overseas foreign producers of reggae. Why? I think it's important that everybody know that how long I've been in the business and I've toured extensively globally. I'm, I have become an international reggae artist representing the music. So, of course, the demand for me to do um, international, to collaborate with international producers is a lot. You understand? Yeah. And sometimes when the workload, you need time and space because creating a song is like writing a novel. Yeah, you're, you're creating a masterpiece and a masterpiece must not be rushed. Yeah. You know? So I need the time and the space and if and if individuals aren't there before them and they just so on to be overseas producers, the local producers I need a little time so I can get all the work so and also when you're contract when you're signed, when you have a contractual obligation, some of the time you need that space and you have to respect what you put your name. Right. It line. You and can't that, be everywhere and no. know everything. And when you give your word, I think it's more important than paper and ink. When you give your word and say, I will do this. Yeah. It's just as important that, as putting your name on a piece of paper saying you're contracting to do this. It's very important. So I always follow and do good on my obligations. And so I'm working with a, a lot of um, international You won't mention any one of them in particular? Uh, not at this present. All right. Not at this present. But I do, I do working with a few, right? You know, uh, I like to mention them when they are out. And yeah. right now, we're Still going the through the, the process of producing it. I have already done the, the recording, but I like to, to, to keep that very close until the product is finished. We tried, <laughs> Get, you know, but suspense. <laughs> Suspense. What do you listen to right now? Uh, what's so, in your playlist? Uh, what's in my playlist right now? You know, is uh, not much. I am doing what you call now research, based upon my uh, my, uh, my the songs that I'm creating, and so when I'm doing research, I just don't listen to music alone. Yeah, because when I'm doing research on a subject matter that I'm writing about, I like to immerse myself in that subject matter. So I would, I would watch documentaries on the subject matter, wow. you know. So to broaden my horizon, I would read books on the subject matter. So when I'm putting together an orchestration, I, the knowledge and the ideas to put the song together, because it's not just about melody, because I think I do not only educate, I entertain. I do not only entertain, I also educate, I inform. The music is supposed to inform the people, right? You're not just getting your, everybody get their information from the news. It's not enough, you understand? And that is why politicians and anybody who like gather people together, start with music. Because music gather people more than just somebody sitting on a podium, standing on a podium and saying something. They gather the people with the music, right? So the music is important. And so I would extensively study on a topic. So it's not a, about listening to artists or a particular genre of music for inspiration. Because when you're doing the, the creative process, I personally, my philosophy is not just listening to artists alone. So right now, based upon the subjects that I am pursuing, you know, and investigating and I know more about so I can write a more rounded song. I'm doing a lot of nature documentary because I have some songs and it's about nature and it's about us as a collective on planet Earth and so it's about nature. So I'm doing a lot of um, um, research nature documentary wise, you know what I mean, about uh, especially the, the Aborigines from, from Australia and of course the native Indians in uh, South America. Now, you know, they have a rich history, the Incas and the Mayas and so forth. So I'm doing, based upon um, the songs I'm doing, I'm researching 
that's where my, my head is right now. And the right. research, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's a long process. Yeah, you, it's, you, yes, you it's a long process. It's, it's you like an actor before a movie. I, I want to tell you, as you mentioned, uh, uh, a quick story. This is this producer, and he was really rushing me to do a song. He said, you know, I have five songs on the, on the radio, and I, and I want to put it on, no kidding, and we're waiting. And I said, um, if you rush me, you're not going to get the song. You really, really want me. And I am not going to feel pleased or satisfied. I'm, I'm a very harsh critic of myself and my work, right? And, and I said, just give me a few, uh, a few weeks. And when I finished the song, I say it was worth the wait. Thank you very much. It's the best song on 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 the track. I see. You see, when it's rushed, it's not going to be a masterpiece. It's just gonna be another painting. Another song. I don't want it to be just another painting. I want it to be a masterpiece. Yes. Yes. Yeah. With the way how the music has evolved over the years, the digital, the social networks, the, 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 all this load of information, and all this load of music coming left and right. What do you, with your experience, yeah. what would you tell a young artist coming within the music now? The all has changed, so what's the advice you would give him now? The advice I would give to any young, upcoming, aspiring artist, Stay true to yourself. Try to incorporate within your in your advisory an elder, an elder statesman who have had the experience in the business, whether it's a musician or whether it's an artist. As long as they've been in the business and make a good name for themselves. As a young artist, seek advice. A mentor, a, mentor. a guide, or... Don't bother watch how famous you are, or how rich you are. Always have a guide, because you need to know as much as you can within the music. And the music, to me, is like a university, and we'll never graduate. There's always things to learn. So, my advice to any young aspiring male or female artist, is to stay true to yourself, work hard to make a difference. Don't don't abuse the freedom of speech. Just because you're popular and you're famous now, you're going to say anything. You might not want to be a role model, but that is something money can buy. And if people see you as, it doesn't mean you must do songs that doesn't enlighten, educate, and uplift. Always enlighten, educate, and uplift. Yes, teach within the music while entertaining the crowd. You know, like it's like yeah. an entertainment. There you go. There you go. That's the fire. Yes, entertainment. There you go. <laughs> always, always, and always go all out, one hundred percent. And remember, a ship without a rudder has no direction. So make sure say, you have some foundation, somebody right beside you who will give you and steer you in the right way. I remember everybody who will say yes to everything you say does not necessarily mean they are friends or mean you any well. So remember, choose individual who love you enough to tell you when you're wrong. When you're wrong. For real. And do the necessary adjustment. Don't let ego let you chase that individual away. Because they really need you well and really love you. They're man enough or woman enough to say to you, I think that direction is wrong and it's going to lead to this, this and this. Because they have the experience and they are steering you right in the right direction. So don't have a group of people around you that's always say yes to everything you know. Because everything is always going to be right in your eyes. But an individual with the experience who's trying to steer you right because they love you, don't ignore that individual. For real. True. Yeah. True talk. You understand? True, true love come with directions. With respect guidance. And love and guidance. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think so. And, 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 and the very essence of that, I can testify about that. Everywhere I go as an artist, I love Gregory because he teach me a lot. I love Dennis because I listen to what he has to say. 
I love Dean Fraser because he would teach me a lot. I was on the first two New Day tour with uh, Blue and I couldn't forget. After like the first seven days, I said, my voice is going. And I said, we'll go to the elder and say, Dean, I mean, blah, blah, blah. And I told him what's going on. And I said, I know what to do. Listen, work tonight. Put the ginger underneath your tongue. Do not speak for seven hours. Wow. And it's like magic. It went away. And I will tell anybody that. See, I give it away. The knowledge. Say, so here it's here, it's live. Junior Kelly said, all young artists, if you're working extensively night after night on a tour, or even if you're, you're doing a one-off show and you have to fall asleep in the AC and you find out that your voice is going away, just put some ginger on beneath your tongue and don't talk to nobody <laughs> until showtime. And you clear that up and you do a perfect show perfect vocals. I mean the people love love that and they appreciate that and they will tell you, trust me. You know what I mean? So from June from Dean Frizzer to me, from me to the young artists and the rest of the world who's listening. Ginger, we need the tongue, no talking and you're good. <laughs> you're watching DYTV yeah. special recipe with Junior Kelly. DYTV. <laughs> yeah we give that. You think we could try and get just a little sample of Friday night special yeah, tracks. Can yeah, you man. test it out on us first? Yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> you ready? Protect me, Father, from the hills and the ledge and the fire we are burned down below. Protect me, Father, from temptation. The devil strong and I can do it on my own. Protect me, Father, from the robbers and the killers. Life takers, them they know for out a road. Protect us, Father, from temptation. The devil strong and I can do it on my own. Whoa, again. The road to Zion never rosy. So much things to distract you upon the journey. The world is falling apart. Can't you feel it? The struggle is on every minute. Prophecy, I come true. So protect me, Father, from the edge and the ledge and the fire we have on down below. Blessed love, give thanks. That was vibes. Thank you. <laughs> You can go down as you please. You can go down to your feet again. No man, no one to look alone, the legend that comes 